Hey guys, it's Chris Bergstrom from Bushido Photo. Just want to give you a quick update on the Godox with the Fuji system uh, with the Cactus V6 II trigger. So uh, just real quick, the V6 II with the X1 sitting on top of it works fine uh, with the auto detect flash system. So if you set it to auto flash, auto camera, it detects that the camera is Fuji. Uh, for instance, the X-T2 or the X-Pro2, uh, but when you s add the X-T32 to the top of the Cactus V6 II, it doesn't actually register, I mean, it says it's a Canon, it registers that it's a Canon flash, but it will not fire the flash. So I found a way to solve this, and I'm able to shoot up to one eight thousandth of a second. So let me show you the quick setup. All right, so XT32 is sitting on top of the camera. I'm able to control the flash from the top of the cactus. And actually, the XT32, it just looks better than having an X1 trigger on top. And then down below, I've got the flash system. Camera set to auto. It detected that it's Fuji. And the flash system is set to manual. Now, only use manual when you're using the X-T32. If you use uh, auto with the X-T32, it will not fire. So I hope Godox fixes this problem. I don't know why the X-1 will fire the flash. No problem, but the X-T32 doesn't. And just so you can see, I took a couple shots with my camera just of the couch. So you can see. So sitting there at eight thousandth of a second and I'm shooting at f1.2 just to demonstrate um, the flash was actually about six to seven feet away from the subject and it's even overexposing at one eight thousandth of a second so if I mirror like two or three of these flashes at the same time which is actually the Godox TT600 which is like the cheapest Godox manual flash that you can actually use. So I just want to show you guys that it does work. And here we go at one four thousandth of a second. You see it's like crazy bright. And let me scroll through these real quick. And that's one one thousandth of a second. So that little TT600 has quite a bit of power. Now the recycle time is a little slow. But... You know, you get what you pay for. I was looking for something that was inexpensive so I could have five or six of them laying around. And for studio work, if I'm not trying to bang out shots, then uh, it's pretty works pretty good just with the TT600. Uh, and I do set the beep to on so I know not to fire until it beeps again. And if I need faster recycle times, I'll either use the 8360 or the 8600 BM, uh, the manual version. I don't use TTL, so... Anyway, I hope this helps because there's a lot of people saying they still can't get the Godox trigger and the V6 II to work. Oh, one last thing. So to get the X-T32 to work, so I set it in flash system as manual, right? Um, I did hook up a PC sync cable. So that just plugs in mini phone jack into the PC sync cable on the X-T32. And because I set the flash system to manual, it's not trying to send any weird, uh, whether TTL or manual signal through the Canon version of the trigger. So maybe the Nikon version will be better when it comes out. Or hopefully, uh, Godox comes out with an F version for Fuji. So then you won't even need to use the Cactus V6 II. It'll just work high-speed sync natively. But this is a workaround. I just wrapped the cable around it. I mean, it's a little funny looking, but if you really want high speed sync and you want to use the XT32, then this is a good option. So, hope that helped. Except a stick, a dog, and a box with something in it. A, a dog, a dog, a dog. The hardest button to a dog, a dog, a dog. The hardest button to a dog. Button to button. Oh, I had a brain.